Hey guys, this is a tutorial on how to build our tabletop robot. This is the Smart Robotic Crab. Um, so I'll just do a step-by-step walkthrough demonstrating how to build the robot from uh, the instruction book that came in your box. So let's, uh, let's look at how to do that and see what's in our box here. Okay. So uh, we got quite a few things in our contents here. Uh, this is a transparent cover. It just protects our motor and battery and wires and things. So that'll go on at the end. This is our chassis with a motor. That's the motor right there. And this whole thing is called the chassis. Uh, the chassis of any vehicle or anything is the frame that the, you know, the body sits on. It could be a car. In this case, it's a little crab chassis. So chassis and motor. There are eight of these uh, legs. They're just supposed to look like little robot crab legs. There is a battery case. Uh, which looks like that. Your battery will go inside. You notice there's a black and a red wire coming out of it and a cover that goes on top. Uh, oh, there's two of these robot crab claws as well. They'll go on the front at the end of your robot, these little plastic things. Uh, there are, is a screw that looks like uh, this. It's got a flatter head on top. This is called a washer screw. It'll go on at the end for our antenna. Uh, speaking of antenna, this is the antenna. Looks like a little you know, bug ears almost, but it is an antenna. Three of these kind of screws. That's the other two right here. I'll hold it up to the camera there. Uh, <clears throat> these are little black things are called terminal caps. They'll go in where the wires go on our chassis of our robot to hold the wires into place like so. There's two of these little axles. Axles are these metal uh, rod stick things, look like that. And then a washer that will go on those metal axles. It's this white axle or white gear, sorry. Okay, so why don't we just get started and start building this guy? So step one, put the chassis with the motor installed on a work surface. Uh, and I'm gonna put it like this, okay? So I got the motor chassis right there. Uh, push one of the axles, which remember those guys are axles, uh, into the hole next to the large gear wheel on the chassis. So this is a gear wheel right here. And there's actually a hole Maybe I should flip this around for you. There's actually a hole right there that I'm going to put my axle in. So it's just going to sit like right there. Okay. Angle it up so you can see it a little better. All righty. Uh, slide one of the gears onto it so that the gear interlocks with the large gear wheel. So there we go. Just one of these white gears slides right on that axle there. Push the other axle right there into the hole in the motor recess. So you see down, so here's the motor, and then the motor recess means just the area below the motor. So right there, so there's actually a little hole in there. Maybe I can hold it up and see. You see that hole right there? That's where this axle is gonna go. Okay, like so. So now, now it looks like that. And in that axle, put the other gear. And so this gear, push it all the way down as far as you can, because it's going to touch both this gear we put on and this, this is called a worm gear, this other white one that's already inside. So this gear is actually going to spin both of those, which is kind of fun. Okay. Slot the battery case, so this guy, uh, into place on top of the chassis, making sure that the axles slot into the two holes on the underside of the case. Secure it with two screws. Okay, so one step at a time here. Slot the battery case into place on top of the chassis. So that's going to see on the bottom of my battery case here, you see there's like some things that are sticking down with some holes in them. Those two holes right here, this one and this one, that's uh, gonna slide onto the axles that I just put on. 
So it should just slide on real nicely like so. Got to put them in the right holes. There we go. Once you, if you lined up with the holes, it should slide on real nicely and it should stay right there. Now it says put two screws, put two of these screws. You have three of them, but you're only gonna use two right now. These screws right here. And they go in the holes on the side of your battery. So there's one that's gonna go there and one that's gonna go right there. And you're going to want a screwdriver. This is a screwdriver. You're gonna want a screwdriver for this step because uh, screws go in with screwdrivers. And now you'll notice the screws that came in the kit have little um, cross hairs on top. So I'm going to use a screwdriver that also has those cross hairs on top. This is called a Phillips head screwdriver. Um, okay, so just carefully going to put one screw in this side. Like so. You don't need to over tighten these, just get them to where, you know, Tight. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing with the other screw. I'm going to carefully put it in my screwdriver and in the hole and then just tighten it down nicely. Not too hard, just enough to get touching. Okay. Now my battery's not going anywhere. My battery case anyway. Uh, push the next step, push the red wire. Okay, now I'm gonna spin this around so you can see. You see I got two red wires here. I got one down below and I got one from the battery. Push the red wire from the battery case and the red wire from the motor into one of the terminals. And I'm gonna do them to this terminal because they're closest to it. I'm gonna push both of the red wires into that hole and then push the terminal cap. These black things are the terminal caps and tr to push in a terminal cap to trap and connect the wires. So this is a little bit of a tricky step. Both of these red wires need to go in that hole right there. So I'm gonna carefully push them both in. And then once they're both in, I'm gonna put that black terminal cap on top of them. Okay, so I got both wires in. I'm gonna carefully push this black terminal cap in on top of them. Okay, don't need to push too hard, just hard enough to get it to lock into place. Now, if we did it right, I should be able to tug slightly on that red wire and that red wire, and they don't come out, so that's good enough. They just need to be touching. Okay, now it says do the same thing with the two black wires. I got a black wire here from the battery case, and I got a black wire here. Come on, from the motor. So two black wires with the little uh, copper ends on them. I'm gonna put those into the hole. Same idea. Put them into the other hole here. And then find my, find my other terminal cap right there and lock those into place by pushing it on top. Okay. Let's see if that looks good. That looks good. Beautiful. Look at that. Wires are locked into place and out of the way. Um, next step. Make sure the switch is off. Okay, so you'll notice on the back side, this is the little switch here. Uh, it says on or off. Kind of hard to read. Uh, right now, mine is set in the off position. So I'm going to leave it. That's switching it to on. That's bad. Don't do that. Otherwise, your robot will take on, take off as soon as you put the battery in. Uh, use a 1.5 volt AA battery. This is a 1.5 AA battery. You can tell it's a AA battery because it has two A's on it. This size right there. This is just an Amazon Basics one. Uh, put the negative terminal of the battery touching the spring end of the battery case and the positive end touching the flat Okay, so you can tell a battery is a positive and a negative sign. Uh, that means they have a side that is positive electricity flow and a side that is negative electricity flow. That's what the plus and minus mean. Uh, that's, you can tell with the wires here because uh, I have a red wire, which is positive flow and a black wire, which is negative flow. 
So the negative side, the flat side, goes on the springy side. So I just push it there. And then the positive side just pushes in like that. Okay. Now I got a battery in too. This is great. Uh, put on the battery cover and secure it with a screw. Okay, so here's my battery cover. It just goes right on top. And use your last screw of this size Put it in the hole right there. Beautiful. And just tighten it down to the screwdriver. Right. Hold the metal wire antenna. That's this guy, the metal antenna. And place it and attach it. Uh, attach the transparent cover to the battery case with a wire screw. Okay, so looks like the battery case goes on first. This is the battery case. And then on top of that goes my wire antenna. So you'll notice there's a hole in front there. I'm gonna put the wire antenna over that hole. Then I'm gonna use my last screw, the one with a flat top on it. I'm gonna put it on top of the wire antenna. So it should look like that. This is a good trick. I like to put the screw in the antenna first and then hold it in place, and then tighten it down with a screwdriver. Let's see if I can find it. There we go. Okay. So line up the screw, place on the wire antenna. Okay. Like I said, don't need to go too hard. You can bend this antenna too. Uh, it doesn't matter, but you can make it whatever shape you want it to be. I'm going to leave it like that because it kind of looks cute that way. Uh, this metal or this plastic case, there's two little slots in the backside that you can pop it into so it doesn't move on you. I'm going to tuck that wire in a little more as well. Okay, so right like that kind of snaps in with those little plastic clips there. Now that's not going anywhere. And this is just to protect my wires and motors and stuff. Okay, the last step, clip the four legs of this side onto the robot. They just snap into place like so. Oop. Do the same thing on the other side, snap these four legs in. Okay, and last step, put the claws on. Uh, the claws are actually labeled right and left. You see there's an R on this one. So that goes on the right side. This one's got an L on it. That one goes on the left side. And there you have it. You have a completely built robot. Uh, to test to make sure your robot works, you should switch it on with the switch in the back. So I'm gonna switch. Okay, my robot is moving. I'm gonna put them on the table. I'm holding them in place. Oh, come back. I'm holding them in place now. Uh, these are fun. They, what they should do is it should get to the edge of the table and it should not run off. It should just turn around. Good, yeah, see? He doesn't wanna go off the table. He just turns around. Yeah, there he comes again. So there you have it. Your smart robot, uh, smart in quotes, uh, all built for you. Uh, Hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Uh, have a good weekend and good luck building your little robot. Bye guys.